We're going to solve a little Fibonacci problem. We want to prove that consecutive Fibonacci numbers are relatively prime, which means they have no common factor other than one. Equivalently, what we're proving is that the greatest common divisor of consecutive Fibonacci numbers, Fn, Fn plus one, is equal to one. This will be a very easy induction proof as long as we remember this neat result, that the greatest common divisor of a number and that number plus a thing equals the greatest common divisor of that number and the thing. So give this a try yourself. My hint for you is to use this result. Grab a cup of coffee and let's solve this problem. Coffee time now with your host, Wrath of Math. All right, let's get to it. Now, let's quickly go through a sketch of why this is true since the rest of the result follows very easily once we have this. Suppose we have a divisor of a and a plus b. Let's call it d. So d divides a and d divides a plus b. This, of course, means that a is a multiple of d. So we might write that a equals d times some integer k. Similarly, if d divides a plus b, that means a plus b is a multiple of d. So we might write that a plus b is equal to d times some integer j. But then this means that b is equal to dj minus a, which is dj minus dk. The point is, we see clearly these two statements imply that b is a multiple of d. So if d divides a and d divides a plus b, then d divides a and d divides b. Thus, any common divisors of these two numbers are also common divisors of these two numbers. A very similar argument will show that common divisors of a and b are also common divisors of a and a plus b. Here those implications are written out. So divisors of these two numbers are divisors of these two numbers. Similarly, divisors of these two numbers are divisors of these two numbers. Thus, they have the same divisors and so certainly have the same greatest common divisors. So we get this equality. And now we can move on to the induction proof with our Fibonacci numbers. We want to prove that the greatest common divisor of consecutive Fibonacci numbers equals one to prove that consecutive Fibonacci numbers are relatively prime. We start with our base case where n equals one. So the first two Fibonacci numbers. What is the greatest common divisor of the first Fibonacci number and the second Fibonacci number? Well, the first two Fibonacci numbers are one and one. And so of course the greatest common divisor of one and one is one. Although it's a little weird, one and one are relatively prime. So our base case is verified. Then our induction hypothesis would be to suppose that a pair of consecutive Fibonacci numbers are relatively prime that the GCD of fk and fk plus one equals one for some positive integer k. Of course, we already proved that it does hold for some positive integer k. It holds for the first pair of Fibonacci numbers. Now, we want to show that this induction hypothesis implies that the result also holds for the next pair of consecutive Fibonacci numbers. What's that next pair? Well, this is fk and fk plus one, so the next pair of consecutive Fibonacci numbers is fk plus 1 and fk plus 2. So we're trying to prove that the greatest common divisor of fk plus 1 and fk plus 2 is equal to to one. Let me make that comma a little longer so it's more clear what this is. And now, since we're dealing with Fibonacci numbers, you might be able to see how we're going to use this result. What is the Fibonacci number fk plus two? Well, by definition, it's fk plus one plus fk. It's the sum of the previous two Fibonacci numbers. So this is equal to the greatest common divisor of fk plus one and then fk plus two, which as we just said is fk plus fk plus 
one, the sum of the previous two Fibonacci numbers. But then we can apply our GCD result that we established above. We've got the GCD of FK plus one and FK plus one plus a thing. So this is equal to the GCD of FK plus one and that thing, FK plus one and F K. But of course, the greatest common divisor operation or function is commutative. The order of these inputs doesn't matter. So this is equal to the GCD of FK and FK plus one, which by our induction hypothesis is equal to one. And so we've proven that the greatest common divisor of FK plus one and FK plus two equals one. Thus, by induction, any pair of consecutive Fibonacci numbers has a greatest common divisor of one. And so indeed, consecutive Fibonacci numbers are relatively prime. And that's it. Subscribe for more of the swankiest math videos on the internet.